Hi everyone, it's Erica Ive, CEO at Mindful Path, and happy Earth Day to you all. Hope you are all safe and well. Uh, today we have Stephanie Gilbert with us, our program director and licensed marriage family therapist. Hi, Steph. Hi. And today on Earth Day, we are so excited. We have a special guest who we are going to interview today, and her name is Dr. Kari Schaefer. And Kari is a doctor of acupuncture, mm -hmm. and she is the owner of the Sustainable Health Center. Exactly. Yeah. Welcome, Kari. We're so happy to have you today. Happy to be here. Yeah. Happy uh, to be here. Tell us a little about you and what you do. Well, I've been practicing medicine for 20 years, and actually when I was in school uh, getting my, uh, my degree in Chinese medicine, I was sick. And I was trying to figure out what was wrong with me, not in the normal way, because I knew enough to know that if, you, if I went to doctors, they either wouldn't find anything or I'd end up with one of those diagnoses of like, um, you know, fibromyalgia or chronic fatigue or something like that, right? But I was waking up every day. I was uh, feeling like I had the flu. I was in pain. I was um, depressed. I would literally wake up and go like, okay, how many hours and what do I have to do before I get to get back in bed? Mm -hmm. And at the kind of the, the height of it, I could walk three blocks before I had to take a sit down and take a rest. Like that wow. was a big, like we, we lived in walking distance to the movie theater and it was like, okay, are we going to drive the six blocks or are we going to walk? Because it was mm -hmm. a little hill and you know, so in my journey, Chinese medicine, my background for whatever reason, wasn't really hitting it for me. It wasn't helping. And I chose not to run around and run a bunch of lab tests. Um, like I said, for the reasons I said, I chose to focus instead on how to get well. And so I started working with, I started by playing with my diet. I've done every, you know, specialty diet you can imagine, developed my own, um, and found that food was a super important uh, piece to your health and well-being. Mm -hmm. um, and then I learned a technique that uses a biofeedback system that identifies infections. Mm -hmm. I know you guys are, you know, based in the, in the mental health realm. Right. So some of the things with that technique that I find, and now um, I think you both will agree that they're starting to find this in medicine, mm -hmm. but for years I've been finding infections that have been affecting people's brains. Absolutely. Right? And infections that have been causing chronic, chronic, you know, depression in people yeah. and, and things like that, right? And so we use that biofeedback technique to look for where stress is on a body and then what needs to happen in order to eliminate that stress. And, um, and, and, and indirectly have been like, oh, wow, I'm not depressed anymore, right? Mm -hmm. so, um, so I use that combination. And then I started working with, I, started, I learned a technique that identifies that we actually have programs in our body. And of course, you know, in your realm, you know this, but we have programs in our body that have been laid down in response to our experiences in life uh -huh. that get triggered by events in our life and cause a neurochemical download right. of, you know, of chemistry that causes us to have an experience, right? Mm -hmm. So we might, you know, meet somebody who reminds us of our dad who used to yell at us and suddenly we're tense. And yeah. we don't know why we're tense. We're just having that neurochemical download. So I started really seeing that relationship between the body, the physiology, and our emotional experience. I always and, say we have issues in our tissues. Mm -hmm. Exactly, right. So I've kind of married all of that together and my practice really focuses on, you know, how do we create wellness? Mm -hmm. Wellness, not right. only just in the physical body, but you know, we know we have more neurotransmitters in our gut than we do in our brain, right? right. Mm -hmm. So get, having a healthy gut is essential for having a healthy, brain and feeling good and it's so and then having the right nutrients our brain mm -hmm. chemistry is made off of the food we eat and if we're not digesting it or we're not eating it which is often the case particularly with women we like to meal skip as either a dietary tool or because we're just too busy you know um then our brains get starved and don't have what they need in order to make the, the neurochemistry they need. And the body is always pri prioritizing towards the most immediate need, which is its survival. And so things like hormones and, you know, uh, uh, neurochemicals for the brain, they, they get 
push aside when the body's trying to get enough glucose to the brain, you know, enough um, nutrients to the heart to keep those things functioning. They're lower down on the totem pole. Mm -hmm. And so we'll see those things develop imbalances before, you know, the, the whole system really falls apart. Mm -hmm. So when um, a client comes to you, mm -hmm. what can you tell us a little about like what you first do, how you assessed, how you... So it, it, in pre-COVID? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretty, so, so so I, I do, we'll be I, back in the office yeah. soon. Yeah, well, I do both. I've been doing telemedicine for, for you know, 10 years. So all of my clients just easily, easily, easily tra transferred into telemedicine. So what I do in the office or telemedicine is they fill out an extensive questionnaire that really helps me identify what areas of the body are under what organ systems. Because I start very much in the body, right? Balancing that out. And then um, if they're in person, I use the biofeedback system I mentioned to look for stress again. Mm -hmm. And then we might order labs. So I might order an adrenal panel or um, a digestive panel or a hormone mm -hmm. panel or a, a blood panel to get a good idea of what systems are under stress and, and get some information about why they're under stress. That's the question I'm asking is why, are, why is this body under stress and why isn't it doing what it naturally does, which is heal and thrive? Bodies, given all, all that they you know, need, will thrive, mm -hmm. but we're not obviously experiencing that, right? Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of reasons for that. So we go through, we identify that, and then we, um, and then we start to put together basically a, a, an individual design program that helps, you know, most people we start with the gut because it's so important. So, you know, that will help them clean out, get out the, the imbalances in the digestive tract. Then we start to uh, decrease the stress on the other systems. We might um, have them do some lifestyle, you know, uh, changes. We might find some of that old programming that's firing and causing that tension, and then we'll do a, some clearing of that. And they, and they work with me sort of a little bit more like you guys work, you know, like once a week, usually in the beginning, because I'm not, I don't, I want to see what, how life is affecting them. Mm -hmm. Because life is the triggers, right? Mm -hmm. And the food choices they're making are the things that are nourishing the body. I don't want to see them in a month's time having missed all that information. Mm -hmm. On a weekly basis, I'm gathering information from them. What did you eat? How did you feel? Did you take your supplements? Did you, were you able to do the self-care? Were you not? Because if they're not able to do it, that's where we have to start, right? Mm -hmm. So that's kind of what we're doing. And we're taking the stress off the system, taking the stress off the system, teaching them tools, mindfulness, right? Teaching them tools for how they can be out in the world, interacting with things that aren't, you know, easy to interact with, but yet they can find new ways of being with them. They, mm -hmm. You know, so that's basically what the practice looks like. It's a, it's a very intensive I get very involved in their world for a period of time so I can teach them how to live well, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. While we're doing all the medical stuff, mm -hmm. straight right. up. And, yeah? Right, right, right. And something I really appreciate that now you're talking a little bit about it now, like you're really starting with where a client is at. Yes. Yeah. So I imagine the check-ins, you know, once a week or so, you know, you're really seeing if, if that intervention was something that they could adopt right. or if right. not like adjusting. Mm -hmm. 100% because sometimes for, as you guys know, you have somebody who has an eating disorder, you tell them to write down their foods and that triggers right. a whole right. thing. Right. Right. That, that, you, that, their that, eating that. disorder mm -hmm. right there. Right. And so that person, and, and they may not tell me that. Right. 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 So I ask them to do that. Uh, suddenly, uh, and they're not doing it. Now we get curious. Now we learn. Now I know where we're at and we meet that. Or somebody else may like go really, really, really intense on it and every little thing. And that is an issue too, because we're looking for more ease in our life, not more rigidity. Right. And so a person who does that with their food journal, we know we want to create more space actually. Right. And, and loosen it up for them. And, and, you know, right. And you have to meet them where they're at. If you, uh -huh. if you don't, if it's a one step thing for everybody, you're not going to succeed with people. Uh -huh. not, right. Um, so like with mental health, yes. who would be the client that, that, would come to you like yeah so uh, obviously uh, I, I either get people that are you know working with therapists okay. and then they come to see me already right and then we're being the adjunct we're getting rid of the 
the, the, in, the infection in their gut that's using up all the good resources, that's, that's you know, taking up the, the stuff that would normally be made for neurotransmitters, that's not allowing them to get happy, right? Mm -hmm. I literally find a connection between our psychological states that we're living in and our microbiome or the bugs in our system. I mean, we know this. We know that, um, that you know, strep get, can cause OCD in children. We know there's a correlation. I find that very, very, very directly. So when somebody comes in, we start in with the body and then we start to look at the, 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 the immune challenges, the heavy metals, the chemical buildup in the system that's making them unable to utilize the good work they've done. Mm -hmm. Right. So I had one woman who had been in therapy for 25 years and we, she came in Sorry, and that's she, my dog. So I okay. 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 Like dog. okay. Um, we cleaned up her, you know, her diet. We, we uh, supported her adrenals. We cleaned up her digestion. And then we did one little piece of work and all those 25 years of therapy she, 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 fell into place and her anxiety disappeared. Wow. Right. Wow. Right. Now if she hadn't done 25 years of therapy mm -hmm. that that wouldn't have been the result. Right. It was just that there was a piece where she was still yeah. hooked and hooking back in and we were able to help her unhook it. Right. Uh -huh. Likewise, sometimes we have to go the other way where we've got to get, you know, sometimes I have people come in and, and it's so psychologically based what's going on and they have no clue. Right. And so I'm having to kind of hook them up into that, that consciousness that a lot of what's happening in their body is coming from the way in which they're thinking and that right. they're actually telling their body to be sick. You right? know, this, this so, is, yeah, sorry, go ahead, Kari. Go ahead, no, no, let's go ahead. That's fine. Well, I was just thinking about like the importance that this is what you're um, talking about right now, of, like multidisciplinary treatment, yeah. right? That it's not just one thing that works, you know, whether put, put a, find what works for you and create that because right there's not just one thing and no and 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 i i when i started medicine my ego structure wanted me to be able to solve it all for people yeah and I that's just, and that. <laughs> yeah right that's just not people our health picture right now our mental health picture our health picture is so complex and it takes it can take a village sometimes it can take a team and when i work with yes. people who already are in the therapy it's great because they've already excavated all the stuff and so when it shows up in the body they're like oh yeah that and we're like boom 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 and then two the nervous system can just unwind it right mm -hmm. it makes my job so much easier when we have that intermingled likewise i'm sure with you guys when you have those people that you know they're bloating out to here and they're depressed and they're not eating right and you can't get them to you know you can't quite get them out of it because that that infected gut is you know draining all their resources creating inflammation and causing inflammation in their brain and they you know so they're it, it they're, it's both right do you use vitamins or anything like that I use a combination. So I base my, my nutrition is whole food based mostly mm -hmm. because we don't know everything about nutrition. Mm -hmm. and quite truthfully, our food is being altered so much that we can't even study food anymore and know what's normally in there, mm -hmm. right? And so uh, nutrition that's been made in a lab is missing pieces that we don't know about. So for the most part, I use whole food nutrition because if you take a beet and you dehydrate it and you you know, you conjugate it into a pill, mm -hmm. um, the bee has everything that is needed for whatever process has been determined that it supports, right? Mm -hmm. Even the stuff we don't know about. There's a perfect example of that. There was a product that was for the heart and um, suddenly with the advent of the use of um, anti-cholesterol medication, they discovered this nutrient that was getting depleted uh, called CoQ10. Mm -hmm. And we didn't know about that before, but this whole food nutrition company went back to their product and looked inside and CoQ10 was naturally occurring in there. Mm -hmm. So way before anybody knew CoQ10 existed, this product had it in it and the people that were taking it were getting it. And that's why I like whole food nutrition. It's the actual replacement part with all the cofactors. Vitamin C ascorbic acid doesn't work. Mm -hmm. It's ascorbic acid isn't actually vitamin c but it doesn't work without the cofactors it needs the whole 
mechanism in order to work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us a little bit about um, how you practice acupuncture? I actually don't. That's what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> yeah, so I don't anymore. There came a point in my practice, and I can't tell you where I said, if I could get people well, well, I'll tell you the story. What happened was I had a woman come to me, and she was in pain, and I was working on her, and it just, it, she'd get better, get worse, and I finally was like, something's not right, and I, she'd got, she had fell, fallen off a horse, and and she'd gone to the ER and they said, you're fine. And, you know, we're two months in and she's just not recovering. So I sent her to an orthopedist who immediately looked at the x-rays, the same x-rays, and found two breaks in her pelvis. Mm -hmm. So she thought I was like, oh, you know, wonder. Yeah. We got her to the point where she was out of pain. She's sleeping in bed again. All good. Um, and about three months later, I, I learned this biofeedback technique mm -hmm. that I'm talking about. And I sent out a newsletter about it. And she reached out to me and she was like, hi. And I was like, what's up? Mm -hmm. I'm so depressed. She had gotten severely depressed. Mm -hmm. And it, and and she came, so she came in to see me and I was like, oh my God, I haven't done my job right. Because I didn't help teach her how to take care of herself, how to manage all of this mm -hmm. so that she didn't end up in your guy's office, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, prevention is, there's always going to be a need, but prevention is by far the best medicine, right? I, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, so my heart went, oh, that's not okay. Mm -hmm. So I, my focus changed from wanting to fix people by sticking needles in them to wanting to teach them how to be well and how to live well. Right. And that's the moment that I might, my, my mind said, mm, I'm going to shift this. And then as time has gone on, the muscle testing, the functional medicine, the the um, uh, the nutrition that I do became such a big part of my practice. I just phase acupuncture out. There's a lot of people out there that do really good acupuncture. You can't be really good at everything, and so I refer. I appreciate for, right? that. I really yeah, and you can't. So I refer, and 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 I do what I do well. And when someone needs acupuncture, I'm the first one that says, "Hey, go get acupuncture. <laughs> you need some, right? That'll be the thing that helps you, not me." I, or, I can't oh. let everyone know. One of the wonderful thing is. Kari is in our building. She's like two in Santa off, Monica. right in Santa, in Santa Monica, Monica, like two yeah. offices yeah. away. So you can have an easy visit if you're seeing mm -hmm. us for a service and then head on over to yep. Kari. <laughs> yeah. And we will yeah. get as much holistic yes. treatment mm -hmm. as possible. Like mm -hmm. this is the epitome of mind mm -hmm. and body. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? And mm -hmm. they're, they complement mm -hmm. each other 100%. beautifully. Mm -hmm. Just beautifully. Mm -hmm. And I, I want to tell you, thank you so much for so sharing welcome. today. I'm, I'm definitely want to have you back um, and, and talk mm -hmm. more about maybe specific um, mm -hmm. mental health issues mm -hmm. and sure. collaborating like on, on how you would treat those mm -hmm. or would love that. see, that would be great. You know, and if you, if your if your clients are listening, just want to, they're welcome to sign up. They can just, um, my, uh, uh, kariforhealth.com they can go there and sign up for my newsletter i'm sending out all kinds of stuff right. about how to cope with covid how to keep yourself healthy hormonal balancing all that kind of stuff and it's all just free i'm not selling it you know i'm not trying to upsell you or get you to do anything all right all right they're supportive. great videos i get the email yeah, yeah. yeah so they're totally welcome to sign up and, and get that information as an easy way to get and we will put that up on our website mm -hmm. as well mm -hmm. um, yeah. we so appreciate your time mm -hmm. and we you. hope you have a beautiful rest of the day mm -hmm. thank you so much so yeah. nice to see both of you i missed you <laughs> i know we'll see each other in person soon <laughs> <Yeah. laughs>